The Real series reveals how Robert De Niro's taxi driver inspired a young John Hinckley to become a copycat killer. Taxi Driver was recognized as an important movie. Little did people know in 1976 how it would impact history. Just like De Niro's twisted character, Travis Bickle, who plotted to kill a presidential candidate, Real says Hinckley made plans of his own. In 1976, Hinckley found himself in a deep, deep hole. And he saw the movie as sort of a map for getting out of his hole. By 1979, things are getting pretty alarming. He begins to develop a real fascination with guns. Hinckley took it one step further, becoming obsessed with Jodie Foster, just like De Niro's taxi driver. Jody at this point was becoming Hollywood's next it girl. So it's no mystery why people were obsessing over her. Hinckley, on the other hand, took his obsession to toxic levels. But Foster rejected Hinckley's attempts to meet her. Hinckley can't handle rejection, but because of this film, he knows just what he has to do to change that. John Hinckley makes a decision. I'm gonna kill the president. While Travis Bickle had fantasies of killing, John Hinckley was more than willing and ready to kill.